In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. Well, today we continue reading the letter to the Ephesians, and St. Paul's just talking about this incredible unity among all the believers, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. So as we celebrate this Eucharist, just be mindful of people all over the world who are doing the same thing, a part of us, we're part of them, part of all the people who went before them. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to us this morning in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who gave one origin to all peoples and willed to gather them from one family for yourself, fill all hearts with the fire of your love and kindle in them a desire for the just advancement of their neighbor, that through the good things which you richly bestow upon all, each human person may be brought to perfection, every division may be removed, and equity and justice may be established in human society. We pray it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Mm -hmm. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say it's going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. And I say you will not be released until you paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Besides the, um, the shrines that we Montfort missionaries have here in the United States, this one here in Lourdes and Litchfield and another big one down on Long Island, Our Lady of the Island. Up in Canada, in Montreal, we have another very big, wonderful shrine, except it's right in the middle of the city. There's no woods, there's no gardens, there's no trails. It's, it's a city shrine to Mary, Queen of All Hearts. Beautiful, beautiful big church. It's like a basilica. Um, and what's fascinating is it was built in Quebec for French Canadians. And um, for many, many years, that's who it was. And they had wonderful services and all of this. They were real French Canadians. I don't know if you, you know, we're talking people who, you know, like they, they have this pate they may call char. And it's like 97% fat, pure, unmitigated fat, but it's delicious. And I think it goes back to the days when everybody was you know, working out in the farms, in the fields, and they could use that. They still serve that in the house. And maple syrup, maple syrup on everything, everything, everything. Pure French Canadians, but not anymore. The ones who are still alive don't go to church much. And so the people who come to this sanctuary are from... Senegal in Africa, Congo, Haiti, Madagascar, and also some Canadians still. And what's fascinating about it is that each of the groups, they all speak French, all the services are in French, but each of the groups have their own culture and their own own language. And so each group has its own like little choir and prayer groups. And there's one night during the week when this is Senegal night, and it's Haitian night, another night. And yet, on a Sunday, and certainly on all the big holy days and feast days and Easter and everything, everything is kind of pulled together by our fathers so that it's a unity. Maybe a little of this, a little of that, but everybody is sharing the gift, the faith, the hope they have through their own culture and their own histories, but they're all there in the shrine of Our Lady. And I just think it's a wonderful example of, of this first reading. There's, there's one hope, there's one hope in one body, one faith, one baptism, and that's what we're called to try to live out. And it's not easy. Even right closer to home, you know, here in Connecticut, in the Archdiocese, where there's so many parishes that have had to combine and close, and give up, and move. And, and it's a real suffering. And the temptation is to say, well, that's not my parish, and that's not where my grandfather was, so forget that. And it's wrong. It's wrong. 
Or to say, well, you know, they're not Polish anymore. Those people are from Africa. I don't want anything to do with them. That's wrong. It's one body, one faith. And when Jesus talks about interpreting the signs of the times, he was talking about him being there, that the, the Savior had come. But we need to interpret things too. And, and not with bitterness or sadness or anger or division, but with this sense of you know, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body, one spirit. And just to finish, so when up in Montreal they have big gatherings, they no longer have just char and maple syrup, but they have food from all over the world. Everybody has a good feast. So, God, we are few in numbers right here, but many in numbers all over the earth. And we pray for the church. We pray for the Holy Father and all those gathered in synod in Rome. We pray that your Holy Spirit would guide us, show us the way. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray in a special way for all the parishes and places families where there really is pain and division. People aren't sure how to talk with each other or trust each other. That God's spirit would be the one to lead us on, to heal us, to make us be true witnesses. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we continue to pray for all the victims of war and violence and terror all over the earth and those who are trying to help them those who are trying to make peace we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. and we will have a big nice retreat up at our house this weekend we ask that God's loving and healing care would be with all those on retreat and also with all those helping to make this tag sale a success here our volunteers we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for all young people, those in grammar schools and high school, college, that God keep them safe, show them the beauty of life and family, how to love, how to give. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for all the sick. And you yourself, if you are not well, we pray for Linda, for Roberta. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our dearly departed. And today we offer Mass for Pat Mossiman and also for Marion Kessler. That the eternal peace of God would be with them, be with us be with all of our loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray then in quiet for the things closest to our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord oh God, we thank you for calling us by name, calling us to your church, one of millions and millions of people over these 2,000 years. Help us to be good Christians. We pray it to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed to be God forever. So then let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Hear, O oh Lord, in your mercy, the prayers of those who cry to you. And as you receive your church's offering, grant that all may be filled with the spirit of divine adoption, so that with inequalities overcome by charity, one family of peoples may be formed in your peace. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and lift up your hearts. Come up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. And therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night that he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples. He said, take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son and his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
And look, we pray upon the ablation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, that we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Christopher, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, Pat and Marion, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us say together the prayer that the Lord Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And peace, everybody. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life. So let us pray. Having been fed with the one bread by which you constantly renew the human family, we pray, O oh Lord, that from participation in this sacrament of unity, we may draw love strong and pure 
to help peoples in their development and prompted by charity to fulfill all that justice requires. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, in case you haven't heard of your other days here, we're getting ready for November, the month of the Holy Souls, and on the table in the back there's these little forms where if you like, you could write the names of your dearly departed, leave them there, and then during November, they'll be on the altar every day. So um, that's, that's there if you like. And then, as you can tell, the tag sale is on, and the gift shop is still open too, so everything. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended, so let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Take care.